In this video, I'm going to show you how to spin your savers just like I do in my videos. And I'm also going to show you how to install custom savers. This video is separated by chapters, so feel free to jump back and forth to what you need. So the first thing that we want to install is something called Mod Assistant. Mod Assistant is a really useful tool that is going to be useful for the majority of the mods you install. Not all of them, some you'll have to download online, but the most will come from here. So a link to this will be in the description, or you can Google it just like I did. Uh, and you want to just click the download button and then click on the top one. Once that's downloaded, just click it. Shouldn't take long. And it'll open this window. You just want to press I agree. And then we're going to head over to the settings tab. And then we want to select our installation folder. So for people on Steam, if you go to right click properties and go to installed files, you can open the directory. That is your installation folder. And then you can basically browse it here and select it. Then navigating to the mods tab, you want to search Sabre Factory because this is the mod that's going to allow us to get our custom savers. So let's install that, press install bottom right and it literally does everything for you, you don't have to do anything. So then you want to open up your game and look to your left and you should see Sabre Factory. And just click on that and as you can see we have nothing installed except for the ones that come with it. So let's head back to the internet to download some savers. So this website will be linked in the description or if you just google beat saver custom savers this will be the first link find some you like i found these star wars ones so download those and you basically want to be dragging this into a folder which is in your installation folder uh, it's a subfolder called custom savers uh, which should be present if you've loaded your game if you haven't you can just go ahead and create that folder and then when you load back into the game and select Saber Factory, you'll then see all your new savers, which you can then select and just play in your game. You can also edit these savers, but I'll leave that for you to play around with. All right, let's move on to installing Trick Saber. This one you're going to have to Google, or the link will be in the description. So navigate to this page and download Trick Saber. So it'll just be the top one again, the zip file. So then you want to navigate to your installation folder and then the plugins folder. And this is where you'll be dragging it. Be sure to open up the zip file to find the DLL file and drag it in just like I did. And once it's there with all your other mods, uh, you should load up the game and there you go. You can find Trick Saber and find all the settings to do with it. You can edit the keybinds to whatever suits you the best. Me personally, I use thumbsticks so I have control of it going back and forth. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you. Any questions, leave in the comments and I will respond. And if this video was helpful at all, please drop a like and a comment and subscribe if you want to see more content.